Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from learn-innovation.com. Today in this lecture, I will talk about how you can download and install Apache JMeter in Windows. So in the last lecture, we already discussed the official documentation, how you can read this. Now, in order to download, just you can see on the left hand side, they have a download section. Click on download release. The moment you click here, you will be navigating to their download section. And right now at the time of recording, I'm using Apache JMeter. 5.4 which requires java 8 or above okay so make sure you have java 8 in your system in case if you don't have i will show you how you can download and install java 8 in case if you already have then feel free to jump from this section to directly jmeter section this uh i will just quickly show you how you can install java in case if you don't have okay and then i will jump into this so in order to download java first of all just type download jdk 8 okay and uh, just hit enter you will be navigating to oracle.com and here you will find all the releases for the different platforms it shows a uh, different distribution it is for linux then we have for mac os then we have for windows OS. so right now i'm using windows 8 sorry windows 10 64 so 64 bit i'm going to use this so the moment you click here now it will simply ask you to accept the permission, click on this checkbox and it will start downloading. But before downloading, it will ask you to create a account on oracle.com. Very easy process. Click on create account, fill the required information and it will create account and you can start getting the downloading part. Okay. Now just, uh, just like normal software, you will get Java also. Just like any other software, you need to double click on this and it will install in your local system. Now the next part is the path variable. That is the most important part in case if you want to set up Java. Okay, for that you just need to click on my computer or this PC and just go to the properties. Okay, and uh, before we move ahead, let me show you where exactly you will see Java. It will go to your C drive. It will by default go to program files. Then you will find a Java folder here and then you will find jdk okay so you can see right now my java installed here and uh, for you 90 percent it will be in program files but sometimes it might go to your program files x86 okay but let's see so in our case it is in program files java i need the path of this directory okay so this is the home directory guys so just copy this and what you need to do just open advanced system settings and uh, just click on environment variables and you can see right now I already have java underscore home in case if you don't have just click on new and just type java underscore home and just give the path of the home directory so this is the home directory which I showed you just now right once it is done click on ok I already have so I will click on cancel the moment you click ok you will find the home directory here second most important part you can see this path variable again a disclaimer guys please do not create a new please do not delete this otherwise the complete system might crash click on add it okay do not create new do not delete just click on add it so you can see these are the couple of uh, environment variables you can click on new here and you need to give the path till bin directory so if you just notice in the bin directory we have the actual java okay we have java we have java compiler so you need to give path till here so just copy click on new and just paste here that's all i already have if you notice i already have path here right till bin so this is a duplicate for me so i will click on cancel but in your case you need to click on ok and you need to click on ok once again and you're good to go Okay, now in order to cross verify, just open the command prompt and just search for Java space, space hyphen version. Okay, if it is printing you your Java version, which is in my case is 1.8.0 underscore 162, then you're good to go. In case if it is not showing you the Java version and you already have set the path, just restart your system once and you will be able to see this Java version. Okay. Even after restarting, you're facing any other issue, let me know in the comment section. I will be happy to help you. Okay. Now, once it is done, you are good to go with JMeter. 
so for that again go back here you will find two section one is binaries one is sources you need to go to the binaries and you can just download the zip file the moment you click on this zip file it's a very small software hardly 70 mb it will be downloading in my system in few seconds i don't have to wait because i already have it so this is how the zip file will look like as i mentioned at the time of recording i am using 5.4 but in your case, you might have a different uh, version that's perfectly fine. The moment you unzip, you will find this Apache JMeter 5.4, the exact folder. And here you will find a couple of files and folder structure. You don't need to understand all the files and all the folder structure right now. But once we move ahead, we will be jumping into these uh, folders and we will be making few changes. For the time being, this bin, which is binary, which is most important part, and here you will find the actual JMeter. Can you see this? JMeter, this is a Windows batch file. The moment you double click, it will start your JMeter. But before I start JMeter, let me quickly give you one overview. Okay, just give me a second. Uh, so you can see we have one backup folders. Then we have binaries where you will find all the binaries. And in the binaries right now, the two very important part is, one is your, this is actually shell script, which is for Linux and uh, uh, my guys for windows we just need to focus on windows batch file you will also find uh, you know a certificate this is the certificate guys that i will be using in the next lectures so just keep a special eye on this guy okay then finally we have some documentations okay and we have some extras which is like some additional files which we might be needing and most important part guys libraries okay so as you can see the couple of libraries which comes by default with JMeter and since we know it's a Java application so all are in terms of jar file so you can see we also have some selenium chrome uh, selenium firefox i i will show you how we can get this and there are a couple of other things that you might be needing in the extra okay so you can see i have used this uh, web driver support then i have plugin manager that will be there for you once we start following this series okay for you you might not have this that's perfectly fine once we move it you will also get this apart from this these are some of the licenses printable docs and some readme files now the more, most important part let's start the gmeter the click on bin folder and just click on this windows batch file do not get confused guys because this also looks same this also looks same but this is basically a shell script which is for mac linux and unix guys for windows just click on this windows batch file and let's wait okay so initially you will see some warning so just ignore this warning for the time being and here we go you can see it's starting apache jmeter and yeah it started for us and you can see the symbol this is for jmeter now guys the most important part as you can see they clearly mentioned that don't use GUI mode for load testing. It can be used only for test creation and test debugging. So this is what exactly we are going to follow. We will be using this GUI mode only for test creation, adding the samplers and the listeners and other things. But once we are done, we will be using a non GUI mode, okay, which is a headless mode or I will say a CLI mode. And then we will be running our test. So they have also mentioned, thanks to JMeter guys, they have mentioned everything in detail. This is how we can run the test from the non GUI mode, which is a headless mode. Okay. So don't worry. Anyways, in the upcoming lectures, I will be showing you how you can run the actual test from your CLI and how you can get the results. So just a quick um, thing in case if you want to know that here we will be passing a JMX file. Then we will be giving our result file, which will be a CSV. And here we will be giving the HTML um, report folder where you will get all your HTML files. And the last important part, you can increase the Java heap memory to meet your test requirements. They have also mentioned how we can do that. Okay, so that's how we can install JMeter and uh, we'll be using JMeter extensively depends on our requirement. Yeah. So that's all for this video. So in case if you're new to this channel, guys, then make sure you subscribe, share this videos on share this channel with others and help them as well. In case if you have any other question, let me in the comment section and I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye bye.